How flags were invented. Ever thought why athletes run with their flags during Olympics? John's got the last up. It, you have ups and you have downs. Why on every embassy we see a flag attached on? On UN headquarters we see flags of its constituent members. Why is that? If any individual insults flag of any country, it is taken as an insult to the whole nation. Because a flag is not merely a piece of cloth or fabric hanging on a queue, it represents the nation. It is also used for signaling in places where communication cannot take place directly. Let's dive a little deeper on its history and its origin and how it became so important. Origin of flags. Flags originally were used mainly in warfare and to some extent they have remained insignia of leadership serving for the identification of friend or foe and as rallying points. Flags recognizable as such were almost certainly the invention of the ancient people of the Indian subcontinent or what is now China. It is said that the founder of the Zhao dynasty in China 1046-256 BCE had a white flag carried before him. Chinese flags had devices such as a red bird, a white tiger or a blue dragon. They were carried on chariots and planted upon the walls of captured cities. The royal flag, however, had all the attributes of kinship, being identified with the ruler himself and treated with a similar respect. It was thus a crime even to touch the flag bearer. The fall of the flag meant defeat and the king would rarely expose his flag and his person together. The flag being normally entrusted to a general. Flags had equal importance in ancient India, being carried on chariots and elephants. The flag was the first object of attack in battle, and its fall would mean confusion if not defeat. Purpose of flags. Flags seemed also to have been used in India as in China for signaling, and there is an instance of a white flag being used as a signal for a truce as early as 1542 CE. Indian and Chinese usage spread to Myanmar, Burma, Siam, now Thailand, and other parts of southeastern Asia. Flags with a background of white, yellow, or black silk are mentioned, with devices, an elephant, a bull, or a water hen, for example, embroidered on them in gold. Spread of views of flags by European countries. Flags were probably transmitted to Europe by the Saracens and the prohibition in Islam against using any identifiable image as idolatrous influence their design. In Europe, the first national flags were adopted in the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. Many of the leaders of that time adopted the flag of their patron saint to represent their country. In England, for example, the cross of St. George was adopted in the 13th century. Towards the end of the Middle Ages, flags had become accepted symbols of countries, kings, organizations, cities, and guilds. Guild flags bore obvious devices. For example, a black flag with three white candles represented the candle makers of Bayou, France. Use of flags other than national representation. The flag over the centuries has developed many special uses. The black flag in days gone by was a symbol of the pirate. Throughout the world, a yellow flag is a signal of infectious illness. A ship hoists it to denote that there are some on board suffering from yellow fever, cholera, or such infectious malady, and it remains hoisted until the ship has passed quarantine. The flag is also hoisted on quarantine stations. The white flag is universally used as a flag of truce. A ship's signal of distress is made by hoisting the national ensign reversed. Use of flag as national representation of country. Use of flags outside of military begins only with the rise of nationalist sentiment by the end of the 18th century. Although some flags date back earlier, the flags of countries such as Austria, Denmark or Turkey emerged from the midst of legend, while many others, including those of Poland and Switzerland, grew out of the heraldic emblems of the Middle Ages. The 17th century saw the birth of several national flags through revolutionary struggle. One of these was the flag of the Netherlands, which appeared during the 80-year Dutch rebellion which began in 1568 against Spanish domination. Political change and social reform, allied to a growing sense of nationhood among ordinary people, led to the birth of new nations and flags all over the world, 
in the 19th and 20th centuries. This is how flags emerged from being representatives of an army in times of war to being the national representation of a country. That's it for today, dear viewers. I hope you liked the video.